All right, hey, it's Good for Son, a.k.a. Cronus, and I'm back at it again to do um, some commentary on some rolls that I did. This time it's with Scavo. Um, last time I did a video with Scavo. It did pretty good. Um, there was some really good footage, and uh, I didn't do any commentary on it. So uh, this is one from, I think, like a week or so ago. I think it was like last Friday or something like that. Um, we got to roll uh, a couple times. We did some gear this time. Uh, I got a new camera. Uh, webcam because <laughs> when I was looking at the webcam stuff uh, when I posted the video I was like man uh, this looks terrible so I got a new one that actually tracks my face which is kind of weird you notice it like follows me it's kind of neat <laughs> so I, I like it so far but I'll, I'll have to remember to turn it off uh, the tracking when I'm like getting up or something if I happen to get up so um, that out of the way today is election day um, I didn't want to sit and like watch uh all the results just yet because that's like stressful. I don't want any stress right now. Uh, so I decided to just do this. Uh, this would be way more fun anyway. I'll check up on the other stuff later. Um, I'm going to get some of my drink on while doing this. It's one of my favorite beers right now. Pliny for president. So it's appropriate. And I also got an old fashioned going on because, you know, why not? Um, so yeah, we will uh, get into it. And Sc Scavo is also a, I don't know what belt he is in judo. But it's way higher than me because I don't have a built-in judo. So <laughs> that's why uh, some of the stand-up stuff, for me especially, is kind of tentative with him um, because uh, he's he can toss me around pretty easily. So, um, yeah, and he does a lot of good leg locks and stuff. You'll, well, you'll see. I mean, watch the last video, so you're familiar with uh, the way he rolls. Um, so, yeah, let's get the setup going. And this time I added in the cursor, so if I want to point at something, you can see it. So uh, here we go. Uh, we're just starting off. Uh, there's another guy there, Brian, is a brown belt, who was like actually working that day <laughs> outside, out of the gym. It was kind of funny. Um, I guess he was waiting for, because uh, he does classes too. And uh, yeah, he's waiting for the people to get there. And he had a couple of extra hours. So uh, yeah, right now we're just setting up some grips. Uh, I didn't really warm up for this. Uh, and I'm trying to do some trips on him. I'm just kind of see what he's doing, and he goes for a single leg, which I'm usually fine with, his single legs. I, I don't really care. But he does something pretty cool um, from the stand-up to his submission, which you will see here in a minute. I think this is the one where he does it. I could be wrong, though. It might have been a no that I'm thinking of when he did it. But we will see soon. Yeah, I think it was when we were in no -gi. Like he, There's something that he did where like he immediately went for like a scissor take down and got a heel hook like really quickly. Um, yeah, is the sound up? I'm trying to turn the sound down just in case I have music. I don't think I do though for this. <clears throat> so we're basically just doing some feeling out uh, in this. Uh, Cause I don't, I didn't want to pull guard right away because I if, usually when I know somebody's better than me at stand up, I'll just pull guard cause I don't care. I'll pull guard. Um, I pull guard in an effort to s immediately sweep them usually but uh, I will pull guard. And right there, I was trying to do, I don't know what the fuck I was doing right here. I think I was trying to do, let's see. I was trying to roll him over my shoulder, but I just went the wrong direction. Yeah, I went totally, I was, that was terrible. That was, that was terrible. <laughs> and I deserve this, uh, I forget what this is called, but it's basically like a scarf hold if you do uh, catch wrestling. Um, but it's all right, I have... Usually, I have answers to the scarf hold, which is kind of just roll them over onto their back like this. So, but we're just, you know, kind of warming up still. Not going hard just yet. And uh, I don't know he, what he does here. He, he always tries to get this uh, this move, but I don't know what he's going for. This right here, he's trying to go for like an Americano, Americano with his legs. But uh, that one position where I'm like awkwardly on top of him and he has my head in sort of like a headlock, he does that a lot. I'm mean, gonna always wonder kind of why. Maybe I'll ask him, see like why he does that. I feel like he's trying to set up like some kind of weird buggy choke, but I don't know how you do that from there. Um, it's just I'm trying to break his turtle. Uh, if you remember, if you watched the last video I did with him, I do like this gargoyle. Like I'll stand on his thighs and then pull him, which I think nope. I try to go for a choke right here, which I don't think I get. It was cool looking though. Just saying, but I didn't get it. Uh, straight to uh, to side control, and I'm thinking about uh, separating his arm from his body. Um, and oh no, no, I'm gonna go for a north south so I can. I, I have a north south arm lock that I like to do a lot. 
Um, but right here, I abandon that and I try to go for an arm bar. But to arm bar him is kind of difficult sometimes. Um, and see right here, there's a thing that I'm trying to do where I'm trying to pull both of his arms together uh, to better get an arm bar. I do it, I think, uh, a couple times in this role um, where I get both of his arms trapped and I use um, my legs to kind of, I cross my legs to keep his arms like crossed over so he can't pull out. Um, he has a really good arm bar defense and, I, and he gave me like a tip of like, not letting or like basically bundling up his arms together to stop him from doing his normal escape and it's it's pretty effective um so now he has to get better at defending because now i'm pretty good at doing them right here he's doing a standing um gi choke from guard which i do sometimes to break somebody's guard and it's effective i mean like you basically you're punching down um into somebody's throat here i'll rewind it for a second so if you notice like uh right here you see where his um his um his fist is his his fist is actually his hand has my gi in his hands and he's pressing the gi over like my whole neck so he's going from like i don't know what side he's on but like from like my left he's pulling my left lapel over to the right side um and then pushing down what what he'll do is he'll stand up and then punch down um in an effort to cut off both carotid arteries um for a choke and it can be effective especially if you don't open your guard and so what a lot of times people do, me included, is I'll do this just to open somebody's guard so I can pass. Uh, my, my guard's already kind of open, but I still have him in between my legs. Right here, I'm trying to get his legs together so I can sweep him over, but I can't, and he's choking me. So, But he let go, so that's fine. Um, just working some open guard here, seeing what he's going to do. Um, I think I'm going to try lapel drag him. Nope. All right, not lapel drag. Okay, I'm trying to do a, I do a sweep from here. It's like a, I don't know if it's called a tripod sweep, but basically I'll, I use my, my right leg, the one that's open, um, to go to his other leg, and then I'll kick him with my left leg, and he'll fall over. Right here, I think of a leg lock, um, but I'm not going for it too hard here for some reason. Here, I'm thinking of a heel hook. So, But he has my, my leg is like super exposed, so. And his knee line's already out, so that's, that wasn't really a, a real threat to him. <clears throat> There's something I, you know, I've noticed um, after watching these some of my really crappy takedowns um, is that I have a problem that I've noticed in these videos, and it's when I go for a takedown from my knees like this. And my feet are on like the bottoms, the tops of my feet are on the ground. And you can't you, you can't generate any power from that position. So we see like right right here is okay, but right there, see how my feet are on the ground? Like the tops of my feet are on the ground? Like there's no way I can explode with my feet like that. And I do that a lot. <laughs> so it's something I need to work on to like try and drive through. Because I kept wondering why, like I'm not getting any power of like driving through. And this is this is one of the main reasons why. Um, it's I, my feet are not, I don't have my toes on the ground, like on, in like a spring like position. They're just like the tops of my feet are on the ground. I can't generate any power and I have to force pulling guard, which is kind of stupid. Um, but you see right here, like I, I, there's nothing I can do to like push him. I can do that, but it's like, that's, it's kind of lame. Got to be honest. That's kind of lame. So something I got to work on. He's doing a rubber guard right here to go for a go-go plato, which would be embarrassing. Um, cause yeah, go-go plot is basically where they get, he'll, he'll get his shin across my neck and, uh, pull my head down and strangle me. Um, but it went, end up going to, uh, an omoplata. I rewind a little bit. Ends up going to an omoplata and I just pull out, if you notice. So I'll go to an omoplata position and just pull my arm out. So. All right. So right now I'm working on his, really a half guard. It's just kind of open. So, it's kind of a half guard. Yeah, yeah, it is. So, I'm thinking about going for his right. Oh, nope, I'm not. What is this? Oh, I was going to go for his leg for a toe hold, but that's not going to work because I don't have his leg secured. So, yeah, this, uh, not all my videos do I look good in. And I'll show you where I mess up, and I'll tell you how I mess up. Right here, my shoulders are going on the ground, um, both of them going flat, which is what you don't want to do. He's trying to go for, I think it's called the Kanto choke. I'm not sure. Um, it's not one of the chokes I usually go for. It's like where you step over and you choke them with their own gi. 
Um, but I use the ghost escape to escape that position. If you're wondering what the ghost escape is, it's where um, my... So if you notice my arm on this side, which would be my right arm, I'm facing the right way, right? Yeah. Um, so basically, whenever I get like that deep under on that side, is that I'll just basically throw the arm up at an angle, and it, and it's what's called the ghost escape. Um, it's not as effective in gi. It's really effective in no gi. You can still do it in gi. It can work, but there's like a lot of friction um, because because of, because of the gis, obviously. So right here, you'll see me kind of explode out a little bit. I don't go too hard on this explosion, just a little bit, and then I'm out. And I, I go to turtle, and I think I'm going to try and roll him over, but that's not going to work because he's rolled me enough to know that that's what I like to do. If you if you ever reach over somebody's body like that, well, you can just roll him over to like the left the left side. Back to open guard. Here we go again with another, I think I have his leg for like a single, but this is not in a good position because once again, my feet are not in the right position to really drive forward, forward with any kind of force. Oh no, I don't even have his leg. Okay. This is just a front uh, headlock position for some control and he's really good at turtling. So I think I'm going to go for that same, I think I'm about trying to use that same uh, collar choke where I kind of spin around him. Um, but I have to think about it way too long. So, because it's something that's kind of new for me. It's not like I can't pull the trigger on that one really fast. I have to think about where my hands are placed and then which foot goes where. So, now I'm doing, uh, hmm, where are we going here? He's just working in his half guard, trying to keep him down. But I let him stand up again. Same feet position. I have his leg, but we'll see what I do with it. Oh, I just sit down. All right. <laughs> oh, I think he was, uh, hold on. I think I was laughing here because he's going to secure. Yeah, right here. <laughs> so the reason why I let go. Oh, man, I went way too far back. Hold on. So right here, here. So in a second, he's going to reach for my uh, for my sleeve. And right when he does that, I recognize that he can probably just roll over and I'm applaud me. So that's why if you look at me, I start smiling and laughing because um, I recognize that he can I'm applaud me. So like right here, if he just rolls right here, when, after he grabs my sleeve, if he just rolls forward that direction, it'll be a, it could be an I'm applaud And that's why I just pull out because, yeah, I don't want to I'm applaud like that or ever, you know. This is also uh, for like, you know, white belt stuff, but um, one of the best ways to like retain your guard is just uh, put your knees in front of you like that. <laughs> so if you wonder how the higher belts uh, seem to have, quote, you know, kind of impassable guards to you anyway, um, if you're a lower belt, it's because we get our knees in kind of tight and it's, it's pretty hard to pass our guards if our knees are in front of us. So just tip. It took me a while to understand that concept of just literally just pulling my knees in. And then from there, you can work on, you know, getting some sort of guard back. Oh, he's going for a straight ankle lock. And I, he might get it because I have a sleeve, but you can get these one handed. Oh, no, he's going. He has this really. Does he do it? Yeah, yeah he's doing it right there. So he doesn't. He does get it. Okay. So he does this really cool um, ankle attack where if you look at my foot over on this side, this, this is my foot right here. And what he does is he puts um, my ankle on his hip and then he, f he uh, forces my feet to like my foot to crunch down, putting a strain on my ankle because he grabs like the end of my toes, like my four toes, and he pushes them down into his hip um, for the braking mechanic. And it's, it's very uncomfortable. It hurts. And I have to tap. It's a really cool um, ankle attack, like nice, nice leg attack. It is, it is really good at doing them because um, you can do them uh, 
kind of when you don't have your uh, strand lock deep enough and if their toes are kind of getting out you can just grab it and like force it into your hip like the way he just did um i like it i haven't tried to do it yet i need to have him show me how to do it this is how i usually pull guard and then go to something i was thinking about doing a la plata um and then getting his leg but that didn't work out so and now i'm just in a bad position trying to have to, have to work from the bottom because <coughs> he's not in my guard of any of any sort, so I have to like get one of his legs in between my legs to get at least a half guard back. There we go. Now I got a leg in, so now I got somewhere to work. Now I'm rolling over to be in proper half guard. Um, if you have a problem with your half guard, um, if you end up uh, facing away, uh, one thing you should do um, this this right here, where I'm facing like this direction, especially when he steps over me. Right, I don't have half guard yet, but right here. Um, you don't want to be facing away from him or from your opponent. You want to turn over back towards them um, because, in my opinion, I don't. technically you have a half guard if you're facing away from them, but I don't think you do because you can't really attack with your back to them <laughs> like that, um, like right here, like right there. I, I, they, you have to turn back towards them to have some sort of real guard, um, in my humble opinion. So right here, now I consider this half guard. I'm facing them. I can now attack. I can now properly defend. Um, and yeah, that's just, uh, those just my thoughts on that. Uh, half guard is my preferred guard. Um, if you see me, if you rolled me enough, you've probably been a half, been in my half guard. Um, he just did a step back for a leg lock, which is what I, uh, like to do as well. Now I'm going to use the lockdown, um, to sweep him. He has a leg in, so it's going to be hard for me to do that, but I still can because both of his legs are kind of wrapped up. He has me in a guillotine, but it's unlikely to finish because I'm on top of him and he can't really use his hips to generate any kind of force on my neck. So, yeah. But he does a really good job of retaining his guard, getting a butterfly in, and then getting a second butterfly in. So if you see here, right when I let go of of the uh, the lockdown there, he pulls his other leg in for a butterfly. So it's a great retention there from Scabo. Now I need to get past his knee. Once I'm past his knee, now I'm in side control. Now I'm gonna try and isolate his far arm from me, but he puts me in sort of like a headlock, um, which is normally fine. I'm gonna try and crawl my hand up to further isolate his left arm. Uh, I think now I'm thinking of doing a, okay, I'm thinking of the ninja choke. <laughs> yeah, but he's pretty hip to it. So the ninja choke, see the that's my gear right there that I'm holding on to. And I, now I have to turn away from him um, to get my gi to choke him. But it's hard because he has his arm in that position. So I can't really get um, the choke because I'm only getting um, one of his arteries um, cut off right now. And he has time to breathe. I'm trying to, um, the reason why I'm reaching my arm, arm out like that is to create more tension on my gi because it's connected to me. So if I can reach my arm away from me. It'll pull tension on my lapel on the other side. But I wasn't getting the choke, so I let it go. And right here, I'm thinking about an arm bar because he's giving it to me, basically. Um, but usually when somebody gives you something like that, it's because they know that they can escape. <laughs> so um, don't always take the bait. But I, um, let's see. Now I'm going to go try. F I'm trying to go for a triangle, uh, but I have a, a really weird angle for this triangle. And yes, I can actually triangle people now, which is kind of weird. I never thought I'd say that. Um, I don't finish this one, I don't think, but at least I can get my legs in that position. I can finish triangles too. I just have that. That's just a weird position for me to do it in. So I think I would have to like face more towards him with like my... Uh, my shin across his back to really finish this uh, this triangle. So I'm trying to get an arm um, exposed. And now he gets out. I think he's gonna try to throw by my le throw my legs by. Oh, here we go. He's gonna go for one of my legs again. But nope. 
there goes that that step back. Um, I love doing the step backs um, for leg locks. They're uh, it's a really effective way to uh, set up a leg lock to get into the honey hole, ashigarami, whatever you want to call it. Um, but he didn't he didn't get uh, the figure four with his leg, so that, that's why I'm on top right now. Now he's trying to um, kimura me, which um, I'm pretty hard to kimura. So he's he's gonna be on my arm for a minute here. And he does a really good job putting me in. Uh, now I'm in ah, crucifix position. But now I'm off camera. So we're both off camera. So let's see. Uh, we can find a place where we're both back. Let's just go to the very end. Nope. Oh. oh. I don't know. Somebody got submitted. I don't know if we just went back. Um, here's an advertisement for uh, Adware. I need an upgrade, update. Back doing some stand up. There we go for a shot. Once again, my feet. Look at my feet. Ah, oh, that was. Yeah, and he gets me in a really good uh, scarf hold right here. And he's like right on my. My sternum and my breath start. I haven't tapped to one of these in a long time, but today was the day. <laughs> he got me. I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't move him. I couldn't turn his. His hips were too far to the ground for me to uh, get him over that way. So I'm trying to like uh, move my body so our hips are closer together, but couldn't do it. Um, so give me a second here, and we'll go to the next uh, the next video. All right. So we're back right where I tapped. It's a good time to end a video, right? <laughs> it's a, it, it automatically ends um, for my recordings. It'll record for like, I think like 20 or 25 minutes, but it has to split up the videos depending on size. So, all right. I'm trying to go for one of my favorite takedowns, um, but I need to have his, uh, his other sleeve. What I like to do is I'll, I'll kick away that uh, leg that's nearest to me, but I need a sleeve to like create torque to uh to toss him over my hip but um yeah I didn't, I didn't have a sleeve so the best i can do is like harass him with like little leg sweeps but it was nothing that was going to get him down oh i tried to go for uh i forget the name of that uh that takedown something in japanese no he's doing a good job with uh with turtling and I'm trying to set up that same collar choke that I did before in the very beginning of, of our roll, but I can't get a really good um, arm placement into it. Once again, it's like, so I just end up just going to, uh, to side control. So now I'm trying to do that. This is where I'm trying to bundle those arms up for um, that arm bar setup. And I'm going to, first I'm going to go for, I guess, the north-south arm lock, which he knows a lot about. So those, it's really hard to get that one on him. I might do a video on it because um, it's one of my favorite uh, moves, and most people don't see it coming. But if you train with me enough, you've probably seen it coming. So now I'm going to a uh, high mount so I can isolate some arms. Um, what I like to do in high mount is to use wedges um, to make sure if I go up that um, I'm not going to get pushed back down. So I try see where my knees are underneath his, his armpits. So I get way high up into there so that his arms can't go back down. And so I'm pinching a little bit with my legs to stay up that high. And then I'll use that. Uh, if you see my other arm, I'll like crawl with my hand. Um, up on the elbow so it brings their arm further and further up um, and it's hard to stop because when I start doing that walking motion with my hand um, I'll reinforce um, that motion with my knee so their arm can't go back down so the further up I go with my hand the further up I go with my knee to try and stop them from going back down but he does a good job of like um, exploding a little bit just enough to push me off balance a little bit to get his arm back but if you look at my hand, you can see it always doing like it's almost like a spider crawl. It makes a creepy noise too. But it, it's um, this is where I'm trying to do another uh, head and arm triangle. Um, but his arm is in a position to where I can't really um, 
get it. So I'm trying to still just isolate that arm. And this has got to be tiring for the guys on the bottom. I've had stuff like this done to me by um, by guys before, and it just like it wears out my shoulders. So, and I'm using my head as another like wedge um, to just force everything into place. And then when I'm ready, I'll uh, I'll switch over uh, for the choke. But I don't feel like it's getting set up right. So I'm really just trying to get his arm tired, um, his shoulder tired, so that he can't really fight um, the submission. But um, it's, it's just not working. So. But I'm still going back to it. Like I'm, I try and go kind of relentless with it, if I can. Um, but eventually, I think I get I get frustrated and I go for something else. So, if you notice, I try to wipe my face off because um, I sweat a lot when I do anything working out. So I don't like being a dick and just sweating all over somebody's face. If I sweat on your body, I really don't care. But I really do care if I sweat on your face because it's, it's kind of gross. So I try. That's why I try to keep my face away from other people's faces. Or even my, like anywhere near my head, I try to like move my head off to the sides, um, just so it's not gross. Um, oh, I did something cool here. Uh, so right here, I think he gets all plata, right? Then he tries to go for triangle, then he goes to all plata. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he has my arm, and I think right here he's gonna go for a really nice submission. So he's got me my arm in all plata, and I'm gonna try and roll over, but he knows that, so he toe holds me right there. And it's nice because, like, right when he did the toe hold, my leg straightened out. So it, like, put torque on my knee. So, like, right here, he gets my, my foot right there. And I hop over. But then see how my knee, like, straightens out? And he's got my, my foot torqued the other way. So, yeah, it was, it was a nice toe hold. Look at me being lazy, but it's all right. I got the sweep. <laughs> okay, going right to side control, then north south. Um, I'm working on his arm. I think for an arm bar here. Let's see. He goes a turtle, so now I can't get that arm bar. This is a weird position, but I have my. My uh, my lapel was actually helping me like pull him back into place. If you notice here, it's just kind of interesting. See how I don't let go. So my lapel, I use it to pull his arm around. So right here, my my lapel, I feed it through right there. So I have uh, a control of his shoulder, and as he tries to come around, I, I use that in my other arm to put to put him back down inside control. I'm thinking about going to mount again. Actually, no, no, no. I'm working on his arm, so I'm doing a. Uh, a straight arm lock, which you can't see. Um, I do a really good straight arm lock um, from that side. And once I get the right body position, it gets pretty hard to stop. But uh, Scott Wilson has he's really durable, so it's really hard to tap from this, but I, I got him that time. Um, he's really hard to tap with uh, arm locks. So much so, it's like I don't, I don't feel comfortable like putting that much force on somebody's arm. <laughs> so um, I'm always kind of kind of sketchy about doing that putting too much force oh now he tries to come over me again I just stand up and pull out of it actually that's a really good um, so that's a really good defense I actually use the same defense um, when uh, when I somebody does a single leg on me a single leg on me I will use the Kimura grip and the, just the Kimura in general to uh, counter that so what I like to do is get the Kimura grip and then roll them, roll backwards so they roll over me and then finish the Kimura on the ground while I'm on top. And I think he was thinking the same thing because if you notice, he, uh, right there, he got the Kimura grip and he's trying to roll backwards, but I just, I pull out, I got kind of lucky. So now I'm thinking step back, yeah, for a leg lock. So that that's a step back that I've been talking about so much. Is that's what I like to do. It's like anytime you're in, I'm in quarter guard, right here. It's when um, my oh, well, I do it kind of fast. God damn it! So quarter guard, it's like half guard, but basically it's like it's below your knee. So, and as soon as I get the quarter guard, I like to do the step back um to the leg entanglement right there. I'll grab the legs and then I'll figure for my legs and then that's when I'll start my leg attacks. No, but he does a really good job of separating my legs. And then going on to his own attack. 
Oh no, he just stands up. All right. Hopefully, we come back in frame. Yes, we do. Awesome. <laughs> He's doing some foot sweeps. I like foot sweeps. Low energy. Pull guard again. Go to some butterflies. Nope. Try and roll him up. I'm just being lazy. Going for an arm lock here, but he does the uh, sort of cross face thing, so I can't really do that. Um, but he's going to try and stand up, and I think I try to... Yeah, there we go. Capture his legs together and, and then roll over, because I have his legs, so he has like no real base. Yeah, there we go. What's a pretty... Pretty cool sweep. And he's bringing his leg up high um, because he can go to that rubber guard, which I cannot do. I don't, my hips aren't that flexible. Now I'm just trying to get out of his guard. Or we're just playing with lapels. Well, I don't know what we're doing here. <laughs> I just know that I need to get rid of that uh, the knee shield. So I do a, I think I go right to mount from here. This is a kind of a cool thing. So right here, boom, right to mount. So <clears throat> the way you do this is when somebody has that, like their legs together like that, if you just um, push the legs, like push them together, and then just like hip forward into it and like hip like right over their legs, you can get this. We have to like push our legs down while they're together. Um, and I do it here. Like you'll, you'll see it. So I'll, I'll push his legs together and then just like hip over right there, right in the mount. That's one of those things where you have to kind of like, you can't really think about it. You just got to do it. <laughs> Cause if you, if you try to like set it up, um, they'll, they'll usually be hip to your game. Um, and they'll stop you. So that, there you go. You get a better um, view of like how I set up um, my head and arm triangle when I do that. Like that whole like wedge, the wedging of my knee, my knee will come up and then I'll use um, that little like spider walk thing with my hand. Um, and like right now I'm thinking to just throw like a bunch of stuff at him. So I'm going to try and set up the lapel, set up the head and arm triangle, and but it's all a trap. I'm not going for any of that really. Well, I'm I'm, I'm going to go for an arm bar. <laughs> so... But I really do want to get the head arm, tr head arm triangle. But he keeps like his arm in a position where I just I can't get it. But you see how my knee keeps coming up higher and higher, um, so that his his uh, his leg or his arm can't go back down. That's why I keep doing that. So details. Right here, I figured no, I can't really get the stuff that I want, but I can get an armbar, which is what which I was I wanted to work on. So right here. When I go to S mount, you'll notice that my foot stays high in his armpit, okay? That's to stop him from getting his, his, uh, his arm back. And if you notice, um, if you look at my arm, it's my left arm, this arm right here, my hand. I'm actually pulling his sleeve towards me. Um, that's his opposite arm. So that's not the arm that I'm going for. But I'm pulling that arm towards me so he can't defend when I do go for the arm that I want. So you see me, I'm still pulling on that arm. Like he can't move it out of the way. So now I set up the arm weave, and then I throw my leg over. And right there, see when I put my, my legs together? The, oh, a lot of people say don't cross your feet, which generally speaking, no. Like, don't cross your feet um, because you can squeeze your legs together better if your legs don't cross for some reason. Um, but in something like this where you're trying to stop them from, like, using the other arm, like, I think it's okay to cross your feet because you're you're stopping them from defending and, like, keeps them, like, all, like, kind of wrapped up like this and it's hard to, like, move your arms around. So that's that's why I'm crossing my feet. Hope that makes sense. And you see I'm still grabbing his, his arm and now I get the tap. So, yeah, that's a, kind of a cool way that you can armbar somebody. If somebody is, like, really good at escaping, is, like, having really tight control over both both arms so and that's thanks to scabo just like giving me that tip of like um securing that other arm and this is what you know good training partners do is um when they know something that you don't know is like just tell them you know what i mean <laughs> so like if somebody ever wants to know like what i'm doing 
that was I did that same goddamn thing again. The same same feet position. Oh shoot. And then my feet are not the right position. But I get the takedown, but it could be like it could be better. So and I guess that's that same like weird thing I was talking about in the beginning. Well like I'm sort of like he's on his side, he has my head. I don't really know what he's going for. So there's a choke you can do from here, um, but I'm not going to get it because he has both my arms. He's like, he has my uh, my sleeve in my hand, so I can't really get any kind of choke. So I'm thinking of arm bar again. So I'm going to do the same setup. Um, see, I'm grabbing his sleeve. You can see it kind of more um, on this one. So right there, I grab his sleeve, and this is not the arm that I, this is not the arm that's going to get arm barred. It's the other arm, his right arm is going to get arm barred. But I'm pulling it the whole time. See, I'm not, not letting it go. I'm pulling it further up towards me. And then I'll make sure that my leg is over. And then I'll do the same thing. I'll secure his other arm with my legs by crossing my legs. And now his arms are effectively trapped. And so now I can get the arm bar. And um, I like to go at an angle with these arm bars because um, it's harder, I found anyway, that it's harder to defend an armbar when your arm is going up at like this direction than this direction. Like this direction, I feel like you can like defend it better, but when it's like at an angle and it's like going like up like this, there's like way more tension on somebody's arms. That's why I'd like to go at that, that upward, like weird direction um, just to keep tension the whole time on the arm. Uh, so that's why I do that. If you're, if you're wondering why do I go up towards somebody's head? So I just find it more effective. And see how like keeping that arm, even even though he was even trying to escape by doing like the rollover thing. But if you notice, he can't because I have his. I'm still ha I still have his hand, and so he can't really turn. So and that's it. So yeah, those two of the same similar setups for that arm bar. And I, I learned a lot uh, that day on how to set that up better. And I've been doing it uh, more and more now, just securing both arms or at least hugging that arm in towards me. And also, like, if you get good at that, you can actually get an arm lock when you're pulling the other arm in. If you can get it, like, over your shoulder, you can, like, do it like a, a crunch on their elbow and get a, a, a interesting uh, arm lock. This is gonna, time's going to be up soon. I'm trying to bait him to single leg me because I have single leg defense. That's why I keep stomping, but he's not buying it. Pretty sure it's gonna end, yeah, I just ended. So give me a second to go to the next one. This is like the last one, so. Yeah, the video just like ended, so um, I had to turn it back on. It's kind of annoying when you have like DSLRs because they ended after like 20 something minutes. You have to pay attention and like bring it back. kind of funny he pulled my monkey top off <laughs> but I had my leg so I was like just keep going with my leg you know I said I had good single leg defense but I think he he, uh, he still gets the take down <laughs> with the single leg yep see but then I try to sweep him to his back nope couldn't get it So I'm trying to use that underhook uh, under his leg um, to sweep him, uh, but I can't. His his base is is really good right now, and I'm both of my shoulders are on the ground. Um, right now I'm sweeping him to the side that I want, and now I'm trying to get to his kneecap so I can roll him back over towards that way. Hey, this is like this. There's a guy. There's a black belt named Sauce, um, and this is basically like the Sauce special. <laughs> like he, he does this. He he showed all of us this move. Is um when you're in deep half, is go to the leg that's in between your legs. And then what you do is you grab their kneecap, uh, do it right there, and then you just roll that direction, and like their body goes with them right here. See, that's all. That's Matt. <laughs> Thanks, Sauce. But then I end up uh, kind of giving up position here. He's got my arm. But both my shoulders, are on, both of my shoulders, both of my shoulders are on the ground, so I feel relatively safe. 
And then he comes up to mount. So I'm going to try to go to uh, half guard. Um, it's my main uh, mount escape, which I think right now I have his leg in between my legs. And now I got to turn back towards him. There we go. Now I just, I'm trying to roll back, but he has. What does he have? He has my arm. Okay, and right here I try to go for... This is like a really weird position, by the way. Totally not normal. I was thinking about maybe I can toe hold him, but he has my arm, so I can't. So I'm trying to like force a leg lock here. Um, I was thinking maybe getting my, my right leg in between like his... Like underneath his knee to like get a calf slicer, but I, I'm not that flexible, and I, I just couldn't do it. So um, it was a very interesting position, though. I was like, how can I try and sup it from this position? But I, I can't. So I got, now I'm just trying to think of a way to like just get out. So there we go. And try not to get cruc crucifixed. That's why I keep throwing my arm up when his leg comes up. Because if I don't, he will get my arm. And I'll be in a worse worse position. Right there again, Kamora defense, pretty good. I even say it's hard to come over me and I start laughing. Um, now he's going for a, a, a collar choke right here. But I just turned towards him, so... This is like one of my favorite. This is one of my favorite positions. Is having that arm right in front of me, because I can do like a arm lock. See this right here. Like he has really good. He's durable, like his arms. Like I don't usually have a high percentage of getting these, but I don't get it on this one. And I'm not going to try and force something if I'm not gonna get it. So I even try to go for a wrist lock right there, but no, he's not. It's just not tapping. So yeah. And I didn't, I didn't have it. So it's not that he's not tap. It's not that he's not tapping. It's like I didn't, I didn't have enough force on his arm, on his elbow, or his wrist. Now I'm doing what uh, LT showed, um, which is I reverse uh, half guard, and I'm going to try to use uh, my weight, and then I'm going to try to arm lock him um, from this position. But I, I'm not going to get this. But it's cool that I thought about it. So like right here, you can pull the arm up and get an arm lock. But I'm not going to get it. I do get out of half guard though, which is nice. And then I'm gonna keep the arm for a little bit. I'm gonna staple his other arm, but then it puts me back in half guard. But I pop out, so so whenever you go to north south, it's always nice to like put your hand um, next to their hip. That way they can't come back into you. But I go back to side control. I think I'm going for that arm again, and I let it go. Okay. Yeah, I'm still going for his arm or something. I don't know what I'm going for here. I can't see because the camera's in the way. Um, hopefully I get like the camera. Uh, I need to figure out a way to get the camera that I'm recording on right now, the one that follows me. What oh, did I turn it off? I think I turned off the follow thing. Um, but it'd be nice to have the camera like follow us. Yeah, oh, here, here we go. So like I said, the camera will follow me. And it'd be nice to have it um, on the mat that it would follow me. So this is the same thing. Going to high mount, uh, separating that arm. Trying to go for um, the armbar again, but he's he's hip to it. I was thinking about the hand arm, hand arm triangle, then the armbar, but uh, I think he's had enough getting armbar today. Now I'm going for um, I think about getting his arm that arm free. I really like to come more that arm or straight arm like that arm, the his right arm, but he puts me back in butterfly, so I have to start over again. So now he's going to try to um, applaud me. Now I'm going to go for a leg lock of some sort. But I think his knee is like pretty far down. Yeah, I don't even know why I went for that. That, was, that wasn't great. What am I thinking about doing right here? Um, <clears throat> I don't know. I was thinking maybe a maybe a triangle, but that was highly unlikely. I had to like force one arm in, one arm out. 
Um, now I'm just turtling. I'll probably roll um, back into half guard, which is what I usually do. Yep, see? Underhook, pull the uh, leg away, and then try to go for a sweep. But now his knee's back in, so I'm probably not going to get it. He's doing a step back. Um, but if I can get my knees both towards him and on the ground, I can uh, I can get in a better position, which is what I do. Here we go. Back to side control. This is where I do, this is a north-south where I try to go for that arm to get the uh, that arm lock that I was talking about. Um, but I can't, his arm's in the wrong position. I need his, his arm somewhere near my hip, his left arm um, near my opposite hip to do those. And that's why I keep moving my hips around. Now I'm gonna try and staple so I can attack his other arm. Nope, there we go, that's, that's what I need right there, is this position. Now, the next thing I need to do is have him more perpendicular to me. I need his legs kind of away from me to finish this arm lock. I don't think I get it, though. Why did I let it go? Now, I'm thinking maybe I can scarf hold him, but I, uh, his arm's on the wrong side. Oh, that was nice. It's nice by Scabo. Leg scissors. Now he's trying to, there we go, try and stop that leg from coming over. <laughs> Because then he can take my back pretty easily. Or um, crucifix me, which is what I don't want. Because he has, I think he has my arm right now, my uh, my left arm. But he let it go right there. And now I think he's close to getting my, he's close to getting my back right now. So I got to keep my butt on the ground so he can't get that uh, bottom leg hook in like right there. That's what I was trying to avoid. All right, still, still avoiding. All right, now I'm going to go for a leg lock for a knee bar, I believe. But I don't get it. Nope. But we're still leg entangled, so, you know, we can still go for something. Now he's attacking my legs. And now mine's crossed over to the other side. So this is really bad from my position. He has both my legs. One is in a hook position. The other one is in a straight angle lock position. This is terrible for me. Um, if I don't get out of there, I'm out of tap. So I try to heel hook him. I cannot. So I'm thinking about getting the sitting up to get the um, calf slicer, but he moves his body, so I can't. And I do something here where honestly, I rewatch this a couple times. And I, so I, I usually don't <laughs> go. Like, I don't use a lot of strength with submissions, but right here, I think I kind of, I kind of do. I, I didn't like watching this afterwards, so I went for a straight ankle lock, and you just watch. Right here, that's kind of I used that was some strength on there, so because um, I had the reason why I use strength is because I had um, if you look at my arm position, it's really low, so I thought that uh, the possibility of me getting this. Straight ankle lock was going to be low because it's because his um, it's really high on his leg, like on his calf. Or but I want the position to where it's uh, on his actual ankle, um, and it's not there. So I kind of forced it, and that that wasn't cool. You can tell by the look at my face that I'm like kind of forcing it right there. Got the tap, but um, I would prefer to use a uh, better technique on stuff like that. And I think we're done right here. Yeah, we're just gonna we're just kind of chatting it up. Yeah, yeah, we're done. So, yeah. So, yeah, that was uh, another commentary. I uh, hope you guys liked it. Hope it was, hopefully it was uh, entertaining, instructional, something. You learned something. Hopefully it was fun. Um, maybe one of these days I can do like a live stream so people can like ask me questions in the chat or I can have uh, one of the brown or black belts on uh, to join me on some of these. That'd be fun to like... Uh, bounce ideas off people um, and see what they think. Um, it actually, you know, be really fun to, to do is like have the person that I'm rolling with also with me and like kind of have their thoughts on like what they were thinking in these certain positions because um, 
I know some of the folks at the gym have watched uh, the, the other commentary video, and some of them thought it was it was pretty helpful. So hopefully this one is too. Uh, so yeah, that's all I got. Um, I don't know. I'll probably release this sometime this week. Probably not tonight because I already dropped a video tonight on the, on the podcast channel. Podcast channel is too late in the day, so maybe I'll drop it tomorrow or something. Um, so yeah, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. Thank you.